I'm Charisse, and in this video primary playlist, Sabrina, John, Jaken, Chelsea, Gordon, and I will share with you a series of videos on the topic of videos, why it's important for us to learn about as educators, how it's relevant from the educator and learner perspectives, how to be a video content creator, how to assess good videos in education, and what video could look like in the future. But first, let's cover the basics of video. Since we're all currently watching a video, we know what a video looks, feels, and sounds like. But as educators, we like a definition, don't we? A video is a digitally recorded content that has sound in motion that can be stored or delivered live, and can be streamed to a variety of devices. In the 1960s and 70s, when videos were available on cassette tapes, and with the introduction of Betamax and VHS in the 70s and 80s, a teacher could borrow a video from the library and play it in class with the use of television. We can imagine that this process required a lot of planning and equipment setup. Now fast forward to our current day and age where screencasts, YouTube, webcam, video camera enabled smartphones, Wi-Fi connectivity are all ubiquitous in many parts of the world. Using video for learning has been made much simpler not just for educators to share knowledge, but also for learners to construct knowledge by creating and sharing their own content. Videos can now be user-generated or professionally generated, edited, not edited, professionally edited. They can be shared on a physical-based media or online through media standalone players or streamed online live or on demand. There are many different types of video styles that have been used for learning. We all know the talking head style, demonstrations, animations, interview styles. In researching videos for massive open online courses, Hanch and her colleagues share 16 production styles, which you can choose to explore by clicking on the link in the info section below. The other types of video that we'd like to add to Hanch's 16 would be the interactive video. There's also the 360 video where users can pan around the video by clicking and dragging. Can you think of more video styles used for learning? If so, we'd like to invite you to join the conversation and make a comment below. Now that we know the basics of video, in the next one, we will look more into why, as educators, we need to look at the role of video in learning. To get started, click here.